Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here and welcome back to my art channel. Today, as the title suggests, I will be doing a sink strainer pour. <laughs> oh, I already know how this goes and I'm already dreading it. I am using the Deco Art Ready Mix paints. I really like this paint for the thickness and the depth that it gives uh, my paintings. Uh, so I decided to use a base for this because I've seen other people do this and it seems like after you've removed the sink strainer, it really needs a base. The paint needs a base to slide around. Now my first indication as to why this might not work is clearly my base is thick. Uh, the Deco Art pouring paint is a thicker paint and also I chose the wrong colors for this. As you can see, I'm starting with blue violet and I, I think I wanted to do a more fiery thing. But that blue violet is too blue. It's on the bluer side. So I followed with red, orange, yellow, and then I added a little bit of white. Now I have seen my fellow peers do this and use these colors. Uh, Mixed Media Girl actually uses these colors sometimes. I think I was even inspired to do these colors because of her. And I don't know how she manages to not get mud and brown colors. I think that it's because the, the way mine came out, I just have to assume that it muddied in the strainer itself, or these paints are just not good for the sink strainer. There's my second mistake. I tried to drain some of it by moving it and I actually lost some of the shape. So the shape you get with this is actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up layering the strainer. And I think another thing I should have done is wait for the paint to kind of go down a little bit more but it was so thick it really wasn't draining it was taking quite a while as you, you can see this was sped up so am i done yet nope not done yet all right i just keep going cool <laughs> so enjoy that and then i will do the tilt for you guys So it did retain its shape while I was tilting this, which is a, a con, uh, sorry, I almost said it was a con. It's a pro for the deco art paints. It did keep its strange shape. I definitely shouldn't have lifted up the strainer. I think I would have had a better shape. As you can see, it kind of gets muddied and I really don't like this painting at all. I was so disappointed. I like the flowery shape, but the colors got really muddy for me. The orange kind of took over. I'm just not a fan, so I decided to switch over to the Artist Loft paints because they're thinner. So, all right, take two. Hated the colors, paint was too thick. I put down my base. I'm using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed paint in metallic. The base is a metallic. And now I'm just going simple with colors I really like. Simple black and white. As you can see, the paint is flowing out much easier. It's draining out easier because the paint is thinner. The only thing I don't like about this paint is that the black is more of a warm black. There are different tones of black colors. There's cool tones and then there's warmer tones like this. So when it hits with the white, it, it creates a more brown gray as opposed to a more cool gray or a blue gray. I still think this is a million times better than the orange monstrosity I created before, but I've never used the sink strainer. I didn't even really know how to tilt this painting. I've never worked with shapes like this. So I just, I did what I thought would work. And I do think this one looks so much better. It's kind of horrific, which is something I like. I like using black and whites. I didn't lift up the strainer this time. So those shapes retained even better. I don't know, it looks like this very strange goth flower that should be in H.R. Giger's house. I actually really, really like this one. So this paint worked way better with the sink strainer. So if you want to use ready mix paints, which I had so many, I decided to go ahead and use them in this experiment. I have a lot on hand. I would say don't use the deco art. Don't make your paints very thick. Make sure they're thin enough to drain through the strainer and lay down a base. 
So yeah, that is my sink strainer pour. I'm pretty happy with this dark monstrosity of a flower teeth weird thing. Uh, a couple cells actually came up on the petals, which made me think I could embellish this with maybe some silver dotting or maybe even some crimson red dotting. I think that would look solid. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to try this, don't use deco art. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.